Hey guys, welcome back. Cabela's just called and said that our side by side was done. The transmission blew up. Six minutes from my ETA till they close, so hopefully we make it in time. Looking forward to getting this thing back because I'm tired of walking to the mailbox. First world problems. Alrighty, of course we get some traffic, so now we are one minute late from closing time. We'll try to make it up, but I got the trailer, so I cannot really speed. I do not want to get pulled over, that would not help. So hopefully the GPS is just a little bit wrong, and we'll make it in time. Alright, that was not the hard part. The hard part is not going inside and buying anything. Not sure if I have the strength for a guy. You know what I'm talking about. It's right there. It's about an hour drive. There's always something you need. There's a first time for everything. I actually did it. I'm pulling out right now. Didn't buy a thing. Tractor was covered under warranty. Other than uh, $750 in gas trip. Alrighty, finally back home we made it. They uh, put in a new clutch and a new belt so definitely going to take it super easy nice and slow. We got the sand delivered. It's about 650 ton. We left the rebar in the front, that way the trucks could just back in. And they did a phenomenal job not getting sand on our footings. We got a majority of the sand in here, so it's really nice, fresh stuff. Um, it's got some rocks. <laughs> it's a really nice fill. Uh, this is a fill sand, but this stuff locks down really good, and the dogs have been loving it. It's their own private beach for the meantime. It's really hard to tell how much sand is actually here. All right, you stay here. I'm gonna run to the other side, and you can see how small I'm getting. How about now? Oh, boys. So the one thing I want to emphasize, in my opinion, is the most important part of building a house or a building, or anything. If you do everything else wrong, but get this right, you'll still be totally screwed, but it, you don't want to mess this up, and that is building too low. We kind of ran into that with the barn, but I said I'm not running into it with the house. So we're building it four feet up out of the ground so that we can pitch everything away and control the water instead of adapting to the water issues. It's more landscaping, it's more sand, it's more pretty much every cost, more concrete, but there's not much more expensive than having to redo your house when you have water issues. So, get it right the first time. Alrighty guys, just want to make this quick video. Showing the footings with the sand in here before we get the walls poured. As you can see, I don't know if you can see Chelsea. This is a massive house. Um, so, just a quick request. If you guys would not mind subscribing, YouTube says 98% of you watching are not subscribed. And that's a problem, we want you guys here on this family. As you can see, this is a massive house and Chelsea and I are planning to build it all ourselves. So the bigger our community, the bigger our family, it, we would really appreciate it. Right Hank? Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the board wall video.